The news reported the discovery of a mutilated body under the bridge. Not only was a cop recently killed, a cop's gun was missing. Watching the news on the bus, Ella knew her time for revenge was running out. That night, Ella followed another scumbag. She identified his room number. Ella crept into the room. The man was lying on the floor, struggling, crying and begging Ella not to kill him. Ella didn't give him a chance. He was shot again in the eyebrow. Forensics confirms that the same man, it's the same person who committed the previous murders. Based on the hair at the scene, they identified four key suspects. One of them is Ira. At this point, the policewoman still doesn't want to believe that Ira is the murderer. Facing the police's questions, Ella didn't answer. So she broke into Ella's house and read her journal. She realized that Ella had done it. Suddenly she was knocked unconscious. When she woke up again, she was lying on a stool. In front of her was Ella. She had the police gun in 